Hi guys, uh, it's Jessica from Griffin and Stampin.blogspot.com. Um, doing another little mini haul video. I have gotten some things in the mail um, over the last day or two, and I wanted to show you. Um, today I got a the Create Stamping magazine in the mail, which will be torn through by the end of the night. Um, I just love reading these magazines. They they just give you some inspiration when you're stuck. Um, you know, just some good things. Uh, that came from, um, I actually won that, that subscription to the Create Magazines, um, I want to say on the Northridge Publishing site, but, um, that was that. And then from eBay, I can't think what the name of the seller was, uh, drawing a blank, um, but I've got the Giant Flowers cartridge that I wanted, um, so cool, uh, Wow, look at them. There's so many pretty flowers on here. I purposely got it just because I wanted to make this flower. But, uh, let's see. Let's see how this looks. Oh, look. So easy looking. Oh, I love when they tell you what size you should print it at. That is my favorite. Why? You see that? Got all these flowers. Oh, that's a flower. Look at that one. That looks pretty cool, too. Of course, they're all cool, but oh, wait, no, I lied. It was that flower. Hello, can't wait to make you. So pretty. Look at that. Looks like an exotic flower. All different types. Oh, look, and it even shows you how to, to make them. That's great. I love when they do that, too. Um, let me show you how to do it. That's what they should do, I think. Look. <gasps> my little guy's up in my uh, crafting studio here, so. Hey, don't put me on the stage. <laughs> hey, I'm not putting you on the stage, goofball. Good, but you said my name. Oh, okay. So uh, how about that to put on the stage now? Mm -hmm. Showing you how to put Ooh. them all together. That's Ooh. great. That's great. Okay, so that's that cartridge. <laughs> and then, um, come on. And then from a different seller, I got, um, Greeting cards inside and out, and baby shower. And my sister in law is going to have her shower soon. And Chris, if you're watching this, no, I'm not going to spill the beans on when the shower is. Oh, and I have to say <laughs> something awesome about Cricket. Here's another reason why you should love Cricket. Now, I opened up my cartridge and I discovered that I got the type candy overlay. So I called them and said, Hi, you know, blah, blah, blah. Can you, um, Help me out here. I got my cartridge in the mail and it had type candy in it. And I said, can you just send me a new overlay? And they said, no, you know, to do one better, we'll just send you a whole new cartridge. What company does that? Anytime there's an issue, I always call them and they always correct it. And that's why I love this company. Um, they well, just why really... Why are you talking to yourself? Oh, I'm not talking to myself, pal. Oh. I'm talking to the camera. Well, it doesn't understand you. It can't talk back to you. Oh, you're right. You're right. My little guy says, why am I talking to myself? Okay, so anyway, here's the baby shower cartridge. Um, thinking about maybe in those boxes um, for the favors. Not sure yet though. We'll see. Um, some uber cute stuff. I know they have one that looks like a pin. Did I miss that? Yeah, look. I'm going to put make that. I'll show you guys actually how I make that when I have an idea to use like some glossy accents and stuff with it um, to make it like an actual button, but we'll see. Um, all this stuff and then put the mommy to be on there. So cute. Um, shows you how to make the boxes again and the 3d um balloon and stuff that's a cute little um baby carriage the cone which i love um and that which is so funny because um her theme is the jungle jubilee and we are going to do on the cake table we're going to make the tree and we're going to put her little animals that I, I think I already showed you guys what the card's going to look like um, we're going to put that on there so it'll be super cute um, and then a little cupcake wrapper and that's that cartridge and that's that cartridge you're silly really I am <clears throat> yeah really you are I'm not. and then the greeting cards inside and out which I'll be making my other girlfriend um, just got engaged so I'll be making her engagement card tonight with this cartridge but tell me that these images aren't awesome. Like, look, that actually looks like a box of candles. Like birthday candles. I think that's so cool. Um, just this whole cartridge. I don't even, I don't think I really have the time to go through, but 
guys, if you haven't imagined and you're wondering about this cartridge, I'm telling you, I looked through the book. Oh my gosh, look at this. Um, thanks for your support. Let me be brief. Thanks for your support. How cute is that? Um, if you were debating oh, whether or not... <laughs> Um, if you're debating on whether or whether or not to get this cartridge, I'm telling you, get it. There's tons of stuff in here. Um, look, look what that looks like. Hey, Bob, what's that look like? Let me see. Look up. Look. It looks like Campbell's suit. Yeah, it looks like Campbell's suit. Cool. So, yeah, that's that cartridge. And like I said, guys, it's worth it. Get it. I think you'll be happy that you did. And then, um... Erin Lee from Facebook and um, from the blogs. I can't think what her last name is. Begins with an S. She had on Facebook the one day that Scrapbook.com had a $5 or $10, 20%. I don't even remember what it was. Um, but there was a coupon that was good only for that day. And I had never gone on Scrapbook.com to look around. And they had some really good deals. And here's some of the stuff that I got. Um... First, the blending pads, I think were like $3 maybe, and it was, it's a pack of 10 of them. Um, and since I just recently got the blending tool, I figured the pads would be good. And I also saw, um, was it on the Cricut message boards? Someone did organization in their room, um, their craft room, and they actually made like a Velcro wall with these things. And they put underneath what the color was, like the blending pad color. Um, or the blending foam color, so I think I might do that. I might get a piece of um, cork board or um, just maybe a big giant piece of canvas and create Velcro straps across it and put these up because I love that idea and I'm all about trying to organize my little space now. So, got that and then got some Distress Ink. This is the Christmas um, three pack. These ones, oh well, wait, let me show you this one. This one first was just regular, the old paper. Um, I like the way it looked, and I said, you know what, I'm going to give it a whirl. So I got that one. And I already have two other ones. I have the black soot and the vintage photo. So I figured the old paper would go good with that, too, to give a good distress look. And then I got the Christmas ones that were the limited edition, the evergreen, bow, bow I think that's how you say that, <laughs> um, the festive berries, and the ice spruce, which I actually have an idea of what I want to use that on. I can't wait to use it, actually. Um, so I got those three. And then this is the first time I've actually seen this, but it was cheap enough for me to attempt it. Um, the Distress Crackle crackle Paint. I got the Vintage Photo. And like I said, I already have the Vintage Photo um, Distress Ink Pad. So I got the Crackle Paint, and we'll see. Um, I have an idea also for this. It comes with like a little... Um, applicator brush. Why did you do that? I don't think you're supposed to shake it though. If this is like the um, um, the glossy accents, you don't shake it because it creates bubbles. So I got the vintage photo. Brandon, please. Um, and then I also got the clear rock candy distress crackle paint. Um, this one I think is good for like a clear coat, I think, and to give it like a cracked, cracked distress look. So we'll give that one a whirl. Um, I wish I actually would have gotten this a few days ago because I made um, another project for one of my design teams that I'm on, um, and it would have looked awesome. I wish I would have waited, but I didn't. Um, then, my little bag of goodies here. They had a, I believe it was a 12 pack. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, it was a 12 pack of the Distress Stickles. Um, and it was $25. And then it was on sale for like $19.99, I think. And then I had whatever. I don't remember if it was a 5 or $10 off or 20% off, something like that. But I made it cheap enough to get 12 of them. Um, so I got the Forest Moss, Stormy Sky, Stormy Sky, Spun Sugar, Spun Sugar, Pumice Stone, um, Bundled Siege. Chip Sapphire. That looks really pretty. Let's see how that looks real quick. Ooh, look at that dark color. I like that. Um, that was the Chip Sapphire. Oops. Um, Rusty Hinge. It's like a almost like a barn looking color, I would say. Um, Wild Honey. That looks really cool, too. Can you see that? Um, 
more. Hold on. Another green crushed, ooh, crushed olive. Victorian velvet. Ooh, that's so pretty. It's like a pink purplish. Ooh, this one's really pretty. Oh my god, so funny. This one's actually called barn door. I think the other one, this one reminds me of like an old barn, this rusty hinge. I don't know. You guys see those colors together? Hmm. And then my last one is this real pretty tumbled glass. That's really pretty. Um, so now I have a nice little collection of the stickles. Um, I had gotten actually a while back Right after Christmas, it's actually a little, not a while back, it was a few weeks after Christmas, I wound up getting the six pack of stickles um, that were like the Christmas colors. It has like this one I used on one of my projects, Goldenrod, um, but it has like the red, the green, the silver, the white, um, tons of great colors, but anyway, um, that's the end to my little haul video. Oh wait, no it's not. Hold on, I have one other thing. Um, so I was looking for... Um, I, I got into at Christmas time making the deco mesh wreaths and my Michaels is the only place I can find that and they only had it at the holiday times. So they only had red and silver and I knew I wanted to make um, an Easter wreath and a Valentine's wreath. Well, not Valentine's because I already had the red. Um, the St. Patty's Day wreath and maybe just a spring wreath in general. So I wanted to get some deco mesh. And I found this place online, and I'll be honest with you, if you want to email me or leave me a message, I'll find the name of it. But upstairs right now, I don't have the name of the company, but it was $5 for a giant roll. See how big it is? Woo. And I got this real pretty blue. It doesn't have a name. Ooh, that's your favorite color. And then I got this awesome looking green that I'm going to make my St. Patty's Day wreath with. Oh, you yay. see? Yeah. And then this yeah, pretty... Hey, Grant. And then this purple. Um, like I said, they were all $5. Um, the only thing I will say, and I think this is why they got away with it being so cheap, is the shipping was crazy. But it came FedEx, so I knew exactly when I was going to get it. I ordered it on Saturday, and it came today. But, um, yeah, so that's the end of my haul. But uh, I just wanted to share some stuff with you guys. Um, got a lot of good things going on here. Keep checking out my blog. Um, oh, I'm yeah. hoping um, that you guys all enjoyed my 15 minute video the other day. Uh, hopefully that was beneficial to some of you. I will be going out um, probably Friday night to get a few more of the Kane companies. Um, see if I actually don't even know to be honest with you if I'm going to get more or if I'm just going to do another video with that stuff because there's so much in these Valentine packs that I could definitely easily make another video with another card. I mean the possibilities are endless. You can make a, you know, many different kinds of cards with these. So, um, thank you, Bob. So, anyway, thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, tell your friends about my blog, please. I would love, um, I love all my followers I have now, but I would love some more. Um, uh, and keep following my videos, and only good stuff, only more good stuff is to come. Say goodnight, Bob. Good night. Good night. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later. Check out my blog, www.craftinandstampin.blogspot.com. Thanks. Bye.